The topic in these notes is what's called the point-slope form for linear equations. And this is the topic that you explored in depth in section 2.5. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define it. And we define point-slope to be y equals m times the quantity x minus x1 plus y1. And in this equation, we have m stands for slope, and our point is x1, y1, hence the name point slope. Let's look at a couple examples. On both of our examples, we're going to um, write the linear equation in point slope form. In our first example, we are given a slope, m equals 4, and we're given the point, 1 comma negative 2. So we start with the standard form, y equals m times the quantity x minus x1 plus y1. And now I'm going to plug in the various values here. So m is 4. And then I want to remind myself that this point here is an x and a y. And in terms of the work we're doing with point slope form, we actually talk about this as being y1, x1, sorry, x1 and y1. So now I say x minus whatever this value is. In this case, the value is a positive 1, so minus 1. And then I close my parentheses, and then I have plus whatever my y1 value is. And in this case, that's negative 2. So maybe the last thing I want to do is just make this look a little bit nicer by saying, hey, look, I can really just write that as subtracting 2. And that's all I need to do. That is point-slope form. Number two. In number two, we are given two points, negative 4, comma, 8, and 3, comma, negative 7. So in this case, I have two points, so I need a slope. So we have to go back and we have to say, well, we know that slope is when we have our change in y over change in x which we often write as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So now I'm going to plug in the various values here. Let's call this one our x1, y1, and this point our x2, y2. So now when I'm plugging those in, my y2 is negative 7 minus whatever y1 is, and y1 is 8, all over x2, 3, minus whatever x1 is, minus 4, negative 4. So when I simplify this, I've got negative 7 minus 8, which is negative 15. And in the denominator, I have 3 minus negative 4, which is positive 7. So I now have a slope. I also have two points. So I can write two different versions of this line. So I have y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. In my first version, I'm going to use this slope and this first point. So I replace my m with my slope, negative 15 over 7. I have x minus, and I replace my x1 with this first point, minus 4, plus y1, 8. And I can simplify that to be negative 15 over 7 times x plus 4 plus 8. So this is using the first point. I can also use the second point. I'm going to put a big or here. 
I could have said, well, I'm going to say y equals my slope is my slope, so negative 15 over 7. But instead of using neg the point negative 4 comma 8, I am going to use the point 3 comma negative 7. So now I have x minus whatever my x1 is, which in this case we're using this as our point, so 3, plus whatever our y value is, negative 7. And again, I'll just clean this up slightly so that we just say that this is minus 7.